In this video, we will demonstrate how the various functions of the strategy builder, also known as nodes, can be combined to create the logic of your strategy. In the strategy builder, the only way to combine nodes and form more complex logical statements is by the use of connectors. Connectors are built into every node. To reveal a connector, simply click anywhere on the node's outer diameter and drag the mouse. There are four different types of connections that can be made between nodes. Let's demonstrate how these connections work by presenting a simple EA construction. In order to make a comparison between two nodes, or even one node and a number input, drag the connector onto the compare node's outer diameter. When you release the mouse, you are prompted to select whether the newly connected node will represent value 1 or value 2 in the compare relationship. The other side of the relationship can be a number or even another node. In this example, we use compare to find out if the underlying instrument's ask price is higher than the Bollinger Band's upper line. Let's say we want to set an external whole number input in order to control the Bollinger Band's period after the EA has been designed and exported from the Strategy Builder. By dragging in the relevant node and connecting it to the Bollinger Band node, another selection pops up, asking which parameter we would like the number input to stand for. Selecting the period parameter will populate the relevant field in the Bollinger Band node and the length of the relevant period will then be controlled by the external number input. Having completed our comparison relationship, we now wish to use the comparison as a trigger to design an EA that will sell whenever these conditions are met. To do so, we introduce an open position node. From the trade category, which we will rename to sell order. Attempting to connect the compare node to our sell order, you will notice that the connector that appears is green. Connectors that originate from logic and trade nodes appear in green, indicating the positive association with the condition set. In this case, for example, the settle order will be executed only if the condition you set is met. The strategy builder also allows us to use nodes as triggers in the event that the reverse output is true. In other words, a node can still act as a system's trigger, but only if the condition set is not met. To demonstrate this functionality, let's assume that the expert advisor is required to close the sell order in case our condition is not met. Dragging a close position node and renaming it to close sell, we can connect it to the same trigger. The condition we need to set is the exact opposite of what we have set for our sell order. In other words, we need to reverse our condition. To do this, just click on the connector to select it and set the reverse output to true in the node's parameters box. As you will notice, the connector will change colour, becoming red, indicating that the closed cell order will be executed if the condition set is not met. Next, let's see some useful hints about using connectors. For example, let's consider a maximum and an AND node. Connecting them to each other does not make any sense, since there is no condition to be satisfied in order for our statement to be true or false. The strategy builder does not allow this connection to exist. However, keep in mind that even nodes that do connect are not necessarily right for each other. Connecting the account node to the relative strength index nodes is possible. You can connect and set the account balance as the RSI period, for example, but of course this would make no sense. A final point concerning connectors is the importance of direction in connecting two nodes. 
To demonstrate this, let us use the Bollinger Bands node and the Arithmetic node. Connecting the Bollinger Band node to the Arithmetic node would mean that the Bollinger Band's value serves as one of the two values to be added together. On the other hand, connecting the arithmetic node to the Bollinger Band node serves as an input for the period of the Bollinger Bands. The value derived out of the arithmetic node will substitute for the period. These are obviously two completely different operations.